Hey, it's Brett with Overland Expedition Specialist. So I'm going to do a side-by-side, -side, real world comparison of the Bison Cooler Soft Pack Original versus the newer uh, XD Soft Pack. And I do have a 12 can original and this is a 24 can XD because I needed a little extra space because we do a lot of, uh, well, grocery shopping 30 miles away. And so we keep our meats in the in the soft pack a lot of times. So what I'm doing is, I'll give you a rundown real quick. The difference between the XD uh, is heavier material. It's got the YKK zippers and a water resistant zipper. The lining feels a little bit different than the original. Um, a little more rubbery, probably gonna be a little bit uh, better. I haven't had any problems with my original. I just wanted to do, uh, just have an extra upgrade and be able to give you the differences. Nice good snap on the buckles. Uh, you got your storage pack zipper here, which also is a YKK and uh, seems to have the water resistance even though you probably wouldn't need it on that part. Uh, of course they gave you the little bottle opener. Uh, straps look like they're the same materials, but the, the cover is definitely different. This one's a little more like a dry bag, and this one's a little more of a textured uh, top. This also still got the Molly packs on the back for anything you want to snap to it. Uh, you got your little handle. So, I did the previous review on my original. Um, like I said, I've had it for two years, zero problems. Uh, my little bottle opener did come off, but that was because of a ring, and this one looks to be a bigger ring, so not a worry. Uh, all the stitches are good. I use it every day for lunch, and so what I did is I stuck both of these in my deep freeze overnight to pre-chill them, and we're gonna take temperatures, and then I'm gonna put a, uh, a frozen bottle of water in each one of them as their ice pack, and then a glass bottle of Dr. Pepper, and we'll check the temperatures on all of them. So, the uh, internal temperature is negative 10. No, that can't. But showing zero zero, so we'll put zero zero. Go ahead and keep the cooling on it. And this one's showing 41 as the internal temperature. So, uh, I can get it down to 19, 19 and 18. We're coming up consistently, so we'll go with that. down zero on XD and 19 on the original frozen water it's come back zero zero and zero zero Got it marked or O for original, and we'll shoot it at the O. And it's been in the refrigerator, so it's 45 degrees. And the 
XD 44.9. So what I'll do now is I'll take these and I'll put them in the back of my Jeep. Uh, I'm probably going to go for a five hour, maybe six hour. I'll, I'll let you know when I come back on the video, but uh, measure the temperatures again and see what we came up with. All right. All right, so it ended up about six hours. And The original it's coming back forty six point five. The ice is pretty much still solid. 26.5 Bag temp is 55 XD we got a little more airspace in there but we'll see what it does So it's holding at 48.2. This is 25.2. Okay. And inside of bags, 51.8. Okay. So you can see. Um, be a 31, 36 degree rise on the bag of the temp or bag temp, uh, 26.5 rise in the ice temp. But like I said, the bottle's still mostly frozen. Uh, Dr. Pepper Rose, 1.5 degrees in the original. The XD had a 51.8 rise in the bag temp, uh, 25.2 degrees, so colder on the ice. Um, and it was still mostly frozen. We did end up with uh, five, let's say three, three point three, something like that, three point three degrees warmer. So plus 1.5 on the product in the original and plus 3.3 .3 on the product in the XD. 
but like I said, taking into account there was extra airspace because that's a 24 can. Either way, to only drop or only raise one and a half to three degrees in six hours, uh, that's going to get you by for your lunches and ballpark figures, whatever you're going to do. Um, so I'd say either one, it's just a matter of how many cans you need and how durable you need the outside to be. Uh, I'll have a discount code at the bottom of the video and in the on the website. All right, thanks. So I went ahead and left it for uh, another six hours. So this will be a 12-hour temperature test. It was pretty cool to the touch. This is the original soft pack. Fifty point seven. And ice pack still has ice. Mm, thirty six point six. So it's forty eight, so bag actually got a little cooler. I guess with the longer ice shoulder XD forty eight point two. So that's actually the, still the same as what it was at the six hour mark. And the ice block come back at 32.1. Bags at fifty one point four. So at the twelve hour mark, the XD actually did better than the original with a, the temperature holding the same at the six hour mark and at the 12 hour mark uh, the ice went up about seven degrees almost seven degrees and the bag actually cooled itself with some of that ice loss the original the Dr. Pepper went up 5.7 degrees um, ice went up almost 10 degrees and the bag lost or went down a little with the I guess with the transfer energy transfer still comes back to you only gained five degrees in 12 hours with the original and you only gained three degrees with the XD so for a day use bag I'd say that's a pretty good like I don't think you can physically tell the difference between taking it straight out of the fridge and raising three degrees. So, uh, like I said.